Well, g'day, curd nerds. Today, I'm going to teach you how to pasteurize raw milk. Many people ask in the comments section what they should do if they get raw milk and they're unsure of its quality. Well, I recently managed to get hold of some sheep's milk and I wanted to make sure that I adhered to Australian standards and did some pasteurization. Now, the best type of pasteurization for cheesemakers is a method called low temperature, long hold. And what that means is we're basically going to use a lower temperature than most milk processors do, but extend the time that that temperature is, is current and then we're going to cool it down rapidly down to the temperature that we're going to uh, start our uh, cheese making process with. So let me show you how to pasteurize raw milk. So you're going to need some basic equipment first and what I've got here is my pot on a pot method that I normally use to uh, make cheese but I've got uh, water in the bottom one and that creates steam. Now you'll also need some ice and a clean sink area. So obviously you're always going to need some raw milk. So I've got some raw used milk here that's been kindly donated to me and uh, it's ready to go. So you sanitise all your equipment first. Now I've sanitised this pot by boiling and the raw milk that I received was actually frozen. And as you can see there, there's some chunks of ice coming out and that's how we transported it from the farm to me. So I'm pouring that in. I'm using three litres of milk here for pasteurisation and it's a pretty simple process. All you need to do is pop it in your pot and you're going to apply the heat in a second and bring the milk up to the pasteurisation temperature. So I'm turning on the heat there and that's going to start to uh, boil the water underneath and apply steam to the, the pot. Now, most essential, you'll need a thermometer and a fairly accurate one as well. I'm just making sure that the thermometer is not touching the bottom of the pot or we'll get a false reading. So now we're set up, we're ready to start to bring our milk up to temperature for pasteurization. Now I'm just stirring out some of the ice that's in there at the moment. So the target temperature for our low temperature long hold is 63 Celsius or 145 Fahrenheit. And as you can see there, the milk is heating up. It took about 13 to 15 minutes to go from the well, was nearly zero degrees up to 63 Celsius. So I made sure that I kept the milk temperature constant by stirring as you can see there and stirring it fairly consistently um, during the heating up phase. So we're nearly there and I'm using gas which makes it a bit easier to control the temperature as well. Uh, if you have electric you may have to uh, keep an eye on it. Anyway, the pasteurization is now at the right temperature and we're going to hold that for 30 minutes. Now it's pretty easy using this steam method that I'm using here um, by simply putting the lid back on the pot and the temperature stays at a constant 63 degrees Celsius for that 30 minute period. So when the time's up, what I basically do is fill up the sink with uh, cold water out of the tap and then pour on ice and make an ice water bath. Now that ice water bath is usually at about six to seven degrees Celsius. We don't need it at freezing or at four degrees or anything like that. We just need to rapidly cool the milk down after it's finished the hold period for the pasteurization. So I've popped it back into the ice bath now. I've moved it off the stove and you can see that it's rapidly cooling down to the temperature that I need to make cheese. And in this instance, 
uh, I need it to cool down to 30 degrees Celsius, which is roughly 88 Fahrenheit. Now, if you want to store it for later use in the kitchen refrigerator, then make sure you cool it down rapidly to 4 degrees Celsius or 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, as you saw, that was fairly simple. It didn't take very long at all. 30 minutes plus the cooling down time. Uh, but then the milk was pasteurized. And the good thing about the low temperature long hold process is that it actually keeps some of the good bacteria alive, but killing off the bad bacteria. So we can use it for cheese making and have maximum flavor for pasteurized milk. Now this process is not legal for dairy processes. They have to pasteurize at 73 degrees Celsius and hold it for at least five seconds. Uh, then they cool it down rapidly within about half a second down to four degrees Celsius. Now we're gonna get maximum flavor, which is fantastic for our cheese making. Now I'm going to go on to make a feta cheese, traditional feta, but you'll see that in another video. And don't forget that you can buy supplies for cheese making over at littlegreenworkshops.com.au. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget that you can subscribe to get notified of cheesy content each and every week. Thanks for watching Curd Nerds, and I'll see you next time.